Hey, pretty cool discovery this week here in Danville area. The recent rains have opened up a previously unknown mine site. And while that is not unheard of, what makes this pretty exciting to a history geek like me is I am pretty certain we just discovered a previously unknown slope. So that's, that word slope means something significant. In underground mining, there's three ways to get underground. There's a drift or rock tunnel, which is just a horizontal tunnel into a mountain. And they're the most common in the Danville area because they're the least expensive. Um, the other options are called shafts. And a shaft is where you go straight down in the ground like an elevator. They're pretty rare. And then Danville was known to have just a handful of slopes. But all of them that I'm aware of uh, were out by Sunny Brook Park on that side of the mountain, the north side of the mountain with the exception of there was one in Beaver Place, Danville. So I'd rather not give this exact location away, um, but this has just opened up this week here in Danville, and uh, I would not have expected there to be a slope mine entrance in this spot, but there is, and uh, it's pretty exciting. So I'm trying to get a safe look down inside the mine. Um, I don't plan on going in, but if the ground gives way, I would like a way to get out. So that's what this is for. All right, let's go check this out. Why don't you guys stay here-ish? And I'll get there. So let's see, while you're filming, here's what we got. Behind me, there's a depression in the ground. And that depression, I think, is the original mine entrance. And it would have gone down at a 45-ish degree angle. It would have been following the, the iron ore vein down under Danville. And that would have been called a slope entrance. And there would have been, what, what to me proves that that's what you're looking at is behind me, there would have been some kind of steam hoist mechanism to do that. Steam requires power. And I just found some anthracite coal spilled on the ground over there. So the that to me pretty much conclusively proves there was an engine house over there there was a steam boiler and there was a hoist mechanism so how do i explain this hole that you're about to see i'll get you as close as i can with that um the original entrance goes down under us and i think this is now caving in into that slope which probably goes down 150 200 feet <laughs> Am I looking good over there? Yeah. And I'm worried the ground's gonna get away. So let me get a look and then I'll come get the camera from you. You can probably stand here, but stay 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 back where you are. Okay, can I get the mag light and the camera? I'm gonna take you down in the mine. It's exactly what I thought it would be. All right, so this just opened up this week. And I don't know how well your depth perception is on the, on the camera, but that goes down, looks like about 30 feet straight down. But then that part right there, where I can see some bedrock, where my, where my light's shining, I see some bedrock, and underneath that I see an opening. That's the slope entrance. Wow. That is big. So this is all just washing away and collapsing. There's nothing under me. Hold on, I gotta give myself a little more slack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to get a look. That is amazing. So there's the mine entrance. That's the slope entrance. Not entrance, but that's the original slope. And that probably, if I were to guess, goes down. I bet that goes down at least 100 feet. I'm going to hand this back to you, Luke. I'm going to get myself out of here. Ethan, I'm throwing you this. 
or loot or somebody. And uh, all right, are we still rolling? What I don't know is I don't know the name of this mine, but I can tell you it probably closed by 1888, 1889. And uh, let me detach and let's go look at the original mine entrance. That's crazy. All right, follow me, camera man. We got to show this off before the sun goes down. So, if you look, there's a whole bunch of tailings here. And I knew about these tailings years ago, but I just assumed it was related to there's some mines up here in this valley, even though I'm being vague and not telling you where we are. I just said there were tailings up here. But never knew that there was possibly a slope here. So here's what I want to show off. You can stay there, I'll bring it to you. This is the fossil ore. So the fossil ore is a limestone based ore, another chunk. And uh, that to me tells me that this is, this is the, what I explain it, it's the, it's the shallower ore than the purple sandstone, a little bit closer to Danville. And uh, that's what they were mining here. And all these piles came out of, come on up. So why don't you stay where you are? I'll go down here. This is the original slope. So keep that camera right there so I can really show off the angle. Do you see how it's like, it's about a 30 to 5, 45 degree angle starts there and it kind of goes down under here. This would have been the original mine entrance. There would have been a, a timber there and it would have gone down like that. So all this has caved in, opening up to what you just saw. Let's see if I can find that piece of coal. The coal, to me, is what proves that this had an engine house. Breaker open so you can see it's coal. So there's coal. There's no coal in Danville. So this would have been brought in probably from the Wyoming Valley, which is about 30 miles that way. The steam, the steam engine probably would have been right over here. There would have been a big giant hoist, big wheels, and they would have hoisted the, the buggies up out of the mine and on into Danville, the buggies of iron ore would have gone. I would say this probably was Civil War era. This is probably 1850s, 60s, 70s is probably when this operated. This is cool. Now, sadly, it's probably gonna have to get filled in when I say sadly, I mean, so whatever history's down there is probably going to get sealed off for safety purposes. But I'm glad we at least got a sneak peek into it because this is a historically significant thing to a geek like me because a slope being found here in the year 2021, like there's no, I've never seen in all my documents, I've never seen documents of a, a slope up here where we are on the, on the south side of Montour Ridge, Siddler Hill. It's about all I'd like to say about location. We're on the south side. So this is one of only two slopes on the south side of the mountain, the other one being Beaver Place. Am I missing anything? This is my happy dance. Big happy history discovery. Thanks for watching.